Hey guys, I am giving away copies of this game if you don't own it already. Want to win one? Simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below with the platform you play on and your game attack. I will pick winners and announce them within my videos and also message them on their platforms. So good luck. So today people, I bring you this simple yet amazing guide in getting yourself and your Avengers up to that level 50, which I believe is the fastest way possible at the moment. So let's go. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed your stay here and would like to show your support, hit that like button truly helps out. Also subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So unlocking levels obviously unlocks those skill points and max out your Avengers skill trees. Today I bring you a simple method in getting those levels up as quick as possible. And yeah, this is an end game method that you can do once you've completed the campaign. So literally, as soon as you start the multiplayer side of the game, i.e. Avengers Initiative, this will have opened up which you can take advantage of. And there's actually a twist too which makes this much much easier and much much quicker for you to do and earn those levels. So within the war table under the heli carrier, you will have at least one harm mission to select along the top row. If you haven't completed this yet, you will only see the first one, but there are five here in total. Complete one, the other one unlocks, and so on. Now here is where the fun starts, and the leveling is easy. Just load up this mission and complete the waves. There are 10 waves in total, and these waves of enemies do give you great XP more so than what you can earn within the same time frame doing missions. I mean for sure, you won't get much gear from doing these, so you won't level up your power level. This is more so about those initial 50 levels, which unlock those skill tree points to max out your Avengers skills. But this gets even better people, and even quicker, because these harm missions don't actually scale. So if you have a high powered friend with you, they for the most time within these will be able to mount enemies where you don't have to do much work yourself, and you level up anyway. I had a friend do this with me, he was close to a level 100, and the enemies within here didn't scale to his power level. So we got through all 5 challenge levels, so literally 50 stages of waves in about 20 to 25 minutes and I gained easily something between 8 and 11 levels which if you think about it, it's quite decent. I mean this is way more XP than what you'd earn within the same time frame doing missions like I said and this was without any XP boosters which I have seen on a few artifacts you can get and it was also without any vendor bounties either which would only give you even more XP so if you do plan on doing this grab those vendor bounties people so you're having someone higher in your team really helps out so what you could indeed do here is if you're playing in a team of two three or even four you could help each other out where let's say all of you do this on your main characters for a couple of hours then all but one person switches their avengers up and bring in those lower leveled characters that way one person stays higher who will be super powerful compared to these enemies who can carry you through the waves while the rest of you get easy levels xp here also i will state even on those higher characters is still good enough for you to gain levels while doing these. And then what you do is just switch everything up and just power level each up as quick as possible. And to be honest you don't even have to run all 5 of these challenges. Just the first initial harm challenge will do. Just keep repeating the first one if you want to. You will still earn great XP. I will state though the higher the challenge I think it's probably quite obvious you will earn even more XP. But like I said, you don't have to do it that way. But if you have a high enough player or a teammate in here, challenge five will be just as easy as challenge one. And you'll earn great, great XP doing it this way. But yeah, guys, for sure, this is the quickest way in getting those levels up. Power level, I do have another guide coming soon, which I am working on at the moment. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, people, this, in my opinion, is the fastest way to get your Avengers up to that level 50 and unlock all of those skills. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.